Flu season making an early arrival this year. According to a new report, there have been four deaths here in the Palmetto State. News 2's Travis Rice shows us what schools are doing to keep students healthy and what professionals say are the best ways to minimize the virus in schools. Take a deep breath. One of the front lines for flu season, busy but not because of the virus. Marjorie Bailey, the nurse at Moultrie Middle School. Fevers, lots of visits. Sometimes we'll have, I'll see like 70 kids a day. Charleston County School District says they have not heard of any cases involving students this flu season. Nurse Bailey says it can start early and run long. It seems like last year it was a little bit, it ran later into the season. Like, you know, it was in, we actually were still seeing some cases like January, February. The Department of Health is making rounds at CCSD schools, vaccinating students, but for those still waiting for their shot, they're going to their pediatrician or to go ahead and get the flu vaccine because the earlier the better. At Christ Our King, Stella Maris and Mount Pleasant, most of the school had already received a flu nasal spray well before DHEC's latest report came out. This month in October, we had about 288 students have the flu miss. So that's what we've done this year. And hopefully we're going to have a good flu season. And when the season strikes, the nurse's final word. Please keep them home. They're not going to miss too much if they stay home for one day and send them back when they're feeling well. Can't go wrong with old-fashioned advice. Now, the Charleston County School District says they hope to have all their students vaccinated for the current strain by winter break. Travis Rice, News 2.